Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Efficiency is key to any successful wheat operation and a new tool developed at OSU aims to address that. SUNUP's Dave Deacon picks it up from here. Well since we've been doing the show we've heard a lot about Green Seeker and the technology and it's getting smaller. It started out as a big broomstick uh, device and now it's more of a pocket device. And we have Dr. Brian Arnall to tell us about the the growth of it, I guess. The growth. Yeah, the original Green Seeker started out on a broomstick, yeah. a 12 volt gel cell battery. It had a sensor that was capable of changing rates at very fast speeds in very small areas. And we have been morphing it to yeah. a smaller, uh, more user friendly uh, form. This first sensor uh, was released about two years ago. This was a prototype pocket sensor uh, developed basically in a garage in Stillwater by Dr. Solis, Dr. Stone, and Dr. Ron wanting a user-friendly sensor at a low price. This has been out in the state for about two years now, letting producers get their hands on it, tell us what they like, what they dislike, uh, and had some great feedback from some really uh, high-quality producers. Mm -hmm. Recently, we, we can't be more excited for about the last year we've been working with Trimble to develop a commercial version. Uh, and they, they just came out with it, with what they're, they're terming as the Green Seeker handheld sensor. Nice. So this is doing everything that that large sensor did. It's taking the exact same values. It's giving us the same readings we need to make that nitrogen rate recommendation for our crops. Mm -hmm. It's just user friendly, it's small, it's lightweight, um, and it's relatively cheap compared to, it's, it's really cheap compared to the original sensor. Okay. so. Talk, us about, talk, talk to us about how it works. So it works just the exact same way that the original Green Seeker worked, where mm -hmm. it emits red and infrared light and reads the reflectance. Under this one, you see the emittance comes from right here. Right. You pull the trigger and you can actually see the red light flashing. Mm -hmm. That's what's emitting the light. And this round eye up here is what's receiving that re reflectance back. So it's just re reading the reflectance, just like the original Green Seeker. It gives you a value on this screen to tell you what that NDVI is. When it's done, you take that number, you put it in the nitrogen rate calculator, gives you a top dress recommendation. Okay, in some of the previous ones, you had to be, you know, close to the ground or far away from the ground. The the, the first pocket sensor, uh, because of the technology of LEDs at the time, you had to be within 20 to 24 inches of the soil or of the crop canopy. After a couple of days of sensing at about this height, <laughs> the backs were getting sore of the, our producers. Right. So that was one of the biggest complaints is that, you know, we've got to be able to sense taller. Right. Uh, this sensor has a uh, operating window of two to four feet, so it can be held anywhere mm -hmm. at a comfortable level. Okay. Uh, the ergonomics, so the way they've turned this handle actually sets it where the, the level, holding the level is not that much of an issue. Right. You saw it earlier, it just yeah. kind of naturally fits at a, a flat level. Mm -hmm. That's been nice. Uh, really like That's how this so. is working out. Uh, there was actually the, the first uh, handheld sensor was on campus for a couple months, completely vetted by Dr. Ron's group. They did everything they possibly could to, to test it, to break it, to see how it was working, mm -hmm. showing that it had that perfect correlation with the big sensor that we've been using for the last 10 years. So what's the path that, that a person would need to do to, uh, to use Just it? the same with the, uh, the large green seeker. Uh, when they have an enriched strip in the field, mm -hmm. and I'll say that word again, the enriched strip, <laughs> it is absolutely necessary. Yeah. Uh, it is extremely important to have the enriched strip out. I always recommend taking about 100 paces with the sensor through the enriched strip. They'll take the value off of this, they'll write it down. Okay. Then they'll walk back to their truck or their four wheeler or, right. or whatever be it. Uh, sensing on the outside of the enriched strip, they'll take that number, write it down, and enter it into the online calculator. Okay. And that's where they get the, the nitrogen rate recommendation. Okay, let's talk about cost on, on, the, on the handheld here. Where, where, where do we stand on that? The cost right now, the, uh, the Trimble, which this is manufactured by Trimble, mm -hmm. uh, sold by Trimble dealers, the cost is at $495. Wow. Which is uh, the original Green Seeker somewhere above 5000 mm -hmm. So we've had a nice cut So it's a cost. fraction. It's, it's a fraction of the cost of the original Green Seeker. Okay, so let's, let's talk about cost per acre of getting cost the money out of this. Yeah. So, so one of the things I've been doing for the last 10 years or so in my life is checking how well the Green Seeker does right. versus conventional practice, how much money that enriched strip can make you or save you throughout the years. Over the last 10 to 12 years, we're coming up with $10 an acre mm -hmm. 
every year, year in, year out, either saving nitrogen or increasing yield. At $10 an acre, 50 acres, and you've paid for the, the handheld sensor. That's amazing. In a single year. So That's just with wheat. It, it, so this is an important tool to Oklahoma producers. This is an essential tool to, for Oklahoma producers, and this is going to take the technology to a completely new level. Mm -hmm. This is going to take the enriched strip, put it on that, that next level up. This is going to be what I've referred to as in the past as a gateway technology. Right. This is going to lead producers from, from the, the handheld sensor to variable rate technologies. I guarantee after producers ran one of these for five or six years, they're going to look for that next level. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just that, that entry. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the light bar technology leading to auto steer. Yeah, right. It's just that next step. And I, I believe this is going to take acres of the enriched strip out the window, and we're going to see the majority of the acres in a couple of years in Oklahoma having enriched strips. Maybe two or three producers go together and buy one. Right, right. That's a then great you're, Then you're at 100 to $150 a person. Right. 15 acres and it's paid for. There you go. Okay, Dr. Brown and all, thank you much. And we, you can find out more information on our website about the handheld green seeker at sunup.okstate.edu.